In this video, I'll show you how I animated this Among Us inspired space surfing dude. Hi, my name is Manuel. Stick around, we'll use a couple of different techniques and effects to get this done the easiest way. Alright guys, let's dive in. This is the comp. The round shape is supposed to be a little planet. Behind it are a little guy and a separate layer for the knife. It's all shape layers with gradient fills. And a background layer with a simple gradient wrap. First of all, let's quickly take care of the planet. To add a gradient, we use a layer style. Right click on the layer, layer styles, inner shadow. Let's set the opacity to 85%. Change the angle to around 325 degrees, we want the light to be on the top left corner. Distance maybe 65. Choke 12%. Size 30 and let's add some noise, around 10%. Awesome. Next we add some kind of shiny light on top of it. We duplicate the planet shape, name it Planet Shine. Open the ellipse property and scale it up to around 450. Reduce the opacity to 35%, get rid of the layer style, we don't want any gradient on that layer. Instead, we change the blending mode to Add. And add Gaussian Blur. Set it to 200. And some noise. Let's set the amount really high to around 80%. We don't use color noise. Awesome, I love this grainy look. Anyways, enough of that, I want to focus on creating the trail this planet leaves behind. We grab the pen tool and with no layer selected we draw a line, from the center of the planet to the right top corner. Duplicate the shape, name them trail 1 and 2. Quickly changing the label color. And we open both path properties, take the property pick whip of trail 2 and drag it onto the path of trail 1 to link them. Why? You'll see later. Let's increase the stroke to around 465 pixels for trail 1. Then we open the shape property, go into stroke, taper and set the start length to 100%. If you want you could increase the start width a little to maybe 5%. Then we go into wave, set the amount to around 20%, wavelength to 200. And let's animate the face quickly. We click on that little stopwatch while holding Option, which opens the expression field. And type in time multiplied by minus 100 semicolon, which automatically changes the face by minus 100 degrees every second. Finally, we add a gradient ram and set the white start of the ramp here at the beginning. We change the end color into a light gray and move the point towards the right. We change the ramp scatter to 500 to avoid color bending. Let's move it down below the planet. Awesome, first part of the trail done. Now let's make the stroke of trail 2 even bigger. 1250 pixels. We go into the taper property again and change the start length to 100%. We again add a gradient ramp, this time white on the right end, black towards the center. And again, lots of ramp scatter. This time we add a wave warp. Type sign, wave height minus 50, width 400. Direction towards the top right corner. Wave speed 1 is fine. Pinning all edges. Then we duplicate the trail 2 layer. To get some contrast, we swap the gradient colors and set the wave height to 50. To blend those two together, we set the blend mode of the upper layer to screen. By the way, if you have an older version of After Effects, you could use a simple layer with a triangular shape mask and add the effects we just used to that. That's it. Let's move those layers below the trail 1 layer and have a look. Alright, not bad, but quite static. We need the planet to move and the trail to follow. Earlier we linked the paths of dust layer 2 to dust layer 1. So if we animate this point here, the complete trail follows. Nice, right? 
we just need to attach the planet. Therefore, we select the path of Trail 1, going to Window up here and click on Create Nulls from Paths. And we want the nulls to follow points. We just need this left null, get rid of the other one, which follows the left point. We simply link the planet and planet shine to this null. Oh, and the knife to the dude, the dude to the planet. That's it, let's animate. We open the path property, set a path keyframe and animate it, up and down. We use the convert vertex tool to bend the path. And if you want it to be a loop, make sure the first and the last keyframe are the same. I think I somehow changed the position of this little guy. I need to correct it. Then we add easy ease to all keyframes to smooth the animation. Now we need to simulate some speed, meaning stuff moving by. We reuse what we already got and simply duplicate this top planet layer, name it object. We want to move it from the bottom left towards the top right within a few frames. Simply by setting two position keyframes. Scale it up a bit. We repeat that along the comp, change the scale, overall position and speed a little for each object. Let's increase the blurriness to soften the edges even more. Alright, quickly finishing up. Nice, but I think we need more stuff. Next, let's add some speed lines. So we grab the pen tool again. With no layer selected, we draw a line from the left to the right, reaching beyond the screen. No fill, stroke width 10 pixels, white. Let's be good and name the layer speed line. Then we open the contents property, add trim paths. Set the start and endpoint to zero and set two keyframes. After six frames, we set the endpoint to 100%. After 12 frames, we set the start point to 100% as well. Then we simply duplicate the solid and change its position each time. I think we need to link them to the null object as well. Let's see. We need to make sure they move all the way and don't disappear in the middle. So I quickly adjust a few positions. To simulate motion blur, we add directional blur to the planet. Set the direction to around 60 degrees, the blur length to 10. Then we press Command C to copy the effect and paste it to all layers. Command V. One last thing. To move the knife, I animate the position and rotation of the layer. To move the dude, I used CC Bandit. Place the start point below, the end point above. and animated the bend. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like, so see you there in a second. Subscribe to my channel on the right side, I'd really appreciate it. And hit the bell to know exactly when the next video is gonna drop. Thanks so much for watching, see you in the next video, bye!